This morning we're discussing how you can cope with the loss of a child. My guest today, Joyce Stahl, her daughter was murdered in 2001. Now Joyce, you were sharing with us about the night Jennifer was taken, she was killed. What happened after the first night? Um, well, the New York City police felt that we should have a funeral immediately because they were afraid that these people might do something else. They they weren't sure about the killers. You're yes, about. because it was so high profile. It was on the front page of the New York Times International. It was on the Post every day for a week. It was on you know every magazine. It was the largest article written by you know some of the Greenwich Village papers, and um, it was just very very high profile at that particular time. And and so we had the funeral like within three days. And, you know, like the people that were at the funeral were female homicide detectives. So the police were at the funeral guarding, <laughs> guarding the funeral home and, and, you know, casing everybody that came in. And mm -hmm. Because the killers weren't found at this time, Joyce. Mm, no. They were on the loose. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what uh, a funeral experience. You know, you're already having to deal with, with mm -hmm. this loss. And then to have all these people at the funeral of your child? I there was this, there weren't too many of them. Mm -hmm. They did it very well. They 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 were um, they were women, mm -hmm. um, homicide detectives, and um, and my children arranged everything. Mm -hmm. And one of them is a Buddhist, so there were there were sp great Buddhist speakers, and a lot of people spoke because she was in show business, who so had mm -hmm. worked with her, and 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 it was a it was a very nice memorial service. But we felt it necessary to do this immediately mm -hmm. and so that we could like vacate the, the, the scene. Mm -hmm. The one interesting ramification, not only with me, but with everybody in the family, it, it is very difficult interpersonal relationships with your children and, um, and if you have a husband, tend to deteriorate greatly mm -hmm. during that time. Um, it's very difficult to have a conversation or a meal without having some kind of huge kind of stressful uh, conversation. Mm -hmm. And it's not really due to what you're talking about at all. It's all because no one is, people just really don't know how to deal with this. Mm -hmm. But my daughter, Amy, did, uh, dealt with it very interestingly. She um, had been a Buddhist and she had been working in the design technology department of the New York Times, and she had won the in-house publishing award three times from Schlesinger. And they wanted that story because she was a sister and she wouldn't talk to the press. Mm -hmm. And no one in my family would talk to the press, and they forbid me to talk to the press. And so, and some of the other victims' parents were very vocal with some of their professors, um, and they talked. Um, quite at length to the press, but um, because of that, because they just said, well, this gave their reason, and this is news, and you, we want you to do this, and she quit. She New quit York her Times. job? She quit the New York Times. Wow. And she went, and she had gone to Wesleyan University, and been a ballet dancer before that, and, and then she went and got a Doctor of Divinity from Naropa University, and now she's know, a Buddhist teacher. Wow. So that's, so, that so was how changed, she coped with yes, it. Yes, that's mm -hmm. how she coped it, with it. It changed her life. And now, mm -hmm. Joyce, you were living at Key West, mm -hmm. in Key West, during mm -hmm. the time of Jennifer's death. So yes. you came back to Key I had, West. Uh, what happened was I was getting certified, getting my certification from Ramana Krasinaska and in New York. And I started the day, the next day after this murder. I, I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I called them and said, you know, obviously, I can't, I can't do this, finish this certification right now, and um, that's why I was there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very odd that I was there. Very odd that just the configuration of everything coming together, confluence of all these different things. But um, I, I did finish in the, in within you know the next year, and um, and I came back here and started the only Pilates studio that was, was here then. 
Mm-hmm. So you were able to... And I was teaching at the coffee mill. You were also. teaching at the coffee mill. I was mill. teaching dance and I was teaching Pilates there mm-hmm. uh, for Penny and I'd always enjoyed living here so I came here and it's um, it's a healing place. Mm-hmm. We all know that. Yeah. And it just sounds like, Joyce, you know, the big way that you got through everything is you threw yourself into your work because you had to. You had to get out of bed every day. I can't imagine some days how hard it probably was, but you either stay in bed mm-hmm. and you let the grief take over you or you get out of bed and you yeah, do well, you something. You just have to like do the best you can, mm-hmm. but I managed to not fall into the certain traps that you can, which would be like taking pills, um, you know, becoming an alcoholic, um, overeating, not eating. I did get really, really skinny, but um, it was, there were a lot of other things that happened at the same time, so it, it took a lot of adjustment for me, but that you know, I, mm-hmm. I became more normalized yes, as you I did. went and, on. And one of the accomplishments, Joy, that you were able to do after the death of Jennifer was the Nutcracker Key West, and mm-hmm. it's still going strong to this day. And I know that there's going to be something taking place very soon at the Tropic in honor of the Nutcracker Key West. Tell they're us going, about it. They're going to um, uh, show the movie of last year's production, which will have Nat- Natalia Ashkamina as the star, Nutcracker Key West, and it's being given on December 22nd, and um, it's also being given on December 15th. Great. December 15th at 5, and December 22nd it's a matinee, and there'll be like a little boutique and people in costume. And Great. Well, Joyce, you are so, so. creative, and I, I look forward to seeing the Nutcracker again on stage. Won't be this year, but hopefully next year. Next year, we hope. Wonderful. Joyce, thank you again for being on this morning and talking about, you know, your daughter and, and everything with me. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.